Welcome to Freely Speaking Podcast with your host, Carlita Wells, where everything is spoken of from my heart to yours. God is in this in this hour is calling us all to rise up. You you can't be you gotta rise above the hate. You gotta rise above the pettiness. Sometimes people are being pitied because things that's going on in their mind, you, you know, it's a men, it's mental issues and they have to deal with those things and they have to get the help. They have to reach for the help. You can't make anybody reach for help. You know, you can put it out there. You know, if you, you, you are a therapist or you a lifestyle coach, you are a counselor, whatever your field is where you help and service people, they have to reach for, you can't force and control them. I don't believe in controlling people. You put it out there it's a service. They pay you. You're helping them. They're helping you. It's your that's your lifestyle. You you you, you give enough away. So my my thing is you can't give your your livelihood away. They have to reach for it. And if they're not willing to reach for it, it's nothing you really can do. And that's kind of like how a judge is. A judge can't be like, uh, but did they reach for the help? And the judge had to shake it off and go, okay, well, they didn't, they didn't, they didn't reach for it. We got to move on to the next case. We got to, you got, you got to keep it moving. You can't, that's one thing. I'm, I'm going to say this one thing that, that, that uh, network marketing taught me. Um, when I was in it, um, the, the guy, he was, uh, the head guy, uh, my, my, um, um, uh, what you call it? Oh Lord. I can't think of his name. Uh, I would say that the leader, the, the one who was over us, you know, he would always say stuff, especially, you know, I feel like he was speaking to me, but he did when he coached me one day personally. He said, you know, you can't, when people don't reach for the help, Qualita, you can't stay there with them because there's other people waiting on you to, that you have the service. You can't waste time with one person hoping, oh, they'll get it. They'll finally get it. They'll get it. You got to keep it moving. To the next person that's going to reach the, the low hanging fruit, the, the person that's going to they, they, they want to change. They want to be rehabilitated. They want to be restored. You have to go to those people. The other people you, you planted a seed, you may have watered it. But guess what? You got to keep moving and somebody else going to come on behind you. And, and maybe it'd be two or three people behind them behind you will probably help them. You never know. So you can't waste time in even helping people if they're not ready to be helped you got to keep it moving because you're wasting time there's somebody along the road that's saying will you help me i'm ready and if they're if the person that you was wasting that time on is not ready you held up the person that was like reaching for you along the way that god had for you you delayed them getting help because then they have to wait for somebody else to come along. You understand what I'm saying? It's almost like the um, when you on a um, a uh, a service built um, assembly line. You you got the, this person does this, this person does this, this person does this, and it's all in a line. You part of that assembly line. They're they're on one side, and you on the other side. You have a part to play. In somebody else's life, it's upstream. God didn't tell you to go downstream. He told you to go upstream. There's somebody that needs your help on that assembly line, but it's moving upstream. So you got to keep moving to grab and help the person that's reaching. They're on the assembly line, laying there going like, I want to be helped. I'm ready to be put back together, made whole. They're waiting on you. If you out of position and you, you, I don't know, I got to go back and help the other person. You in somebody else's place. It's not your place to keep wilding and helping that person. They, you gave them what they needed. Now somebody else has to come along and give and help them. And and so what you don't get the glory. And I think that's a lot of times that's what a lot of people problem is. They want the glory out. I helped this person. I stayed there with them and I did this for them. Your part you played was significant, honey. It was outstanding. But now it's time for somebody else to take the baton and bring it on home with them. Thanks for tuning in to Freely Speaking Podcast with your host, Carlita Wells. Don't forget to subscribe by clicking that button so you can get that notification when I post new videos. Don't forget to like.